Hey guys, Ash here from Escape Studios bringing you another Tuesday tip. Today I'm going to show you how to plug transparency into an X Passes material in Maya. So I've made a very simple scene. This is just a couple of planes. The big one in the back's orange to use as a background. And I've got two up front which I'm going to turn transparent. When I hit render now, you'll see they just come out as grey squares because it's just got the original Lambert texture on. So on my left plane, I'm going to assign a new Lambert. In the colour node, I'm going to select file and I'm going to add a file that I've already made. Now if we just jump into Photoshop to see what this file is, it matches the UVs perfectly and it's just a white dot in the middle of a black background. Now what I've done is I've copied those pixels over into an alpha channel and saved it out with the alpha. So as you know, that means that anything that's black in the alpha channel won't render. Anything that's white in the alpha channel will render. I've saved it out as a target file. Now I'm going to jump back into Maya. I'm going to add that file into my file node. Now because the material is just a simple Lambert, it shows up in the viewport and it also shows its transparency. So in the attribute editor of the material, you can see that when I added the file into the color node, Maya automatically recognized that it had an alpha channel and fed that straight into the transparency which is why my material is, is transparent the way I want it. And if I hit render, only the white spot turns up because that's all that was in the alpha channel. Now if I go to my right plane, now obviously as you progress, you're going to want to use render passes. So we tend to use the X passes mere material. However, if I try and do the same thing again, add the same file into the color node, I'll just switch the viewport to viewport 2.0 so we can see it on the screen. Now the colors worked, However, it's not showing any transparency. And when I hit render, you'll see it hasn't automatically accepted the alpha channel as it did with the Lambert. If we go into the attributes of the material, you'll see there isn't an obvious slot for transparency. If I scroll down into refraction, you can see a transparency tab. However, that is only transparency for refractions. I have to scroll right the way down to the bottom of the attribute editor. And in the advanced drop down, you'll see an option called cutout opacity. This is the transparency of the Mir X material. If I take the cutout opacity down and click render again, you'll see it's become mostly transparent. I'm gonna take that back up, add a separate file node into the cutout opacity. I'm gonna add the same file because my color and my alpha are exactly the same, but you can make separate alpha files and plug them into your transparency nodes. When I hit open, nothing changes in the viewport. However, when I click render now, you'll see I have the same result that I got with the Lambert. It's exactly the same, however the alpha just has to be fed into a different node. Okay, thanks for tuning in guys. Hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on any more of our videos. We'll see you next time for more tips and tricks.